Hey guys, many of you have expressed an interest in cooking in a restaurant, and all of you have expressed an interest in eating. So I thought it was a good time to start a lesson on how to measure food. We measure food whenever we're starting a recipe, and there are different ways to measure food. There's one way, and that's to use measuring spoons. Measuring spoons are for small amounts of food. Um, small amounts of sugar, small amounts of spices. They can be for small amounts of liquid, like oil or water. There's also measuring cups. And measuring cups come in two ways. You can use dry measuring cups and you can use wet measuring cups. But we're going to talk about those later. Today we're going to focus on measuring spoons. When we work on measuring spoons, there's really two different types of measuring spoons. There's a tablespoon, and there's a teaspoon. A tablespoon is about three times bigger than a teaspoon. Okay? Now, when we work with measuring spoons, you can do what I just did and leave it on the ring, or you can take them off of the ring, and it makes it a little easier. This ring is just to keep them together and keep them organized. But when we actually use them, it's easier to take them off of the ring. And whenever we wash them, it's a lot easier to take them off the ring. So, as I said, you have the tablespoon, which is the bigger one, and the, table, and the teaspoon, which is three times smaller than the tablespoon. There are also different sizes of these teaspoons and tablespoons. You have this one tablespoon, but sometimes you may not need a whole tablespoon of something. So they come in a half a tablespoon. That's half the size. When you need less ingredients, you have the teaspoon. The teaspoon comes in smaller sizes too. The teaspoon comes in the half a teaspoon. It comes in a quarter of a teaspoon, which is half of this one. And finally, the eighth of a teaspoon, which is half of this one. All of these have, all of these are important. And what we're going to work on today is using recipe cards to identify which one of these spoons we're going to use for our recipe. So what I've created is index cards that simply say which one of those spoons you're going to try to identify. So this one is one TBS. That's one tablespoon. Okay, that's the biggest one. So what I want you to do whenever you get this card, you can either pull it out of the stack, out of the deck, or your support person may just give it to you. When you get this one, I want you to be able to identify which spoon you're supposed to be using, which is one tablespoon. And then I want you to measure. This is salt. I want you to measure the salt. We don't want a heaping tablespoon of salt. We want to shake it a little bit just to make sure it's level all the way across. And then the hard part is to move it from the container that it's in into one of the cups, as in one of the things that we're going to be making our recipe in. And then we're going to get close to the bottom of the cup. We're not going to pour it from here. We're going to pour it to close to the bottom of the cup, and we're just going to slowly dump it in. We're not going to, we're not going to toss it in like that. We're going to slowly Pour it in. Because one of our keys here is not to make a mess. Okay? If we take and we, we scoop it, and then we spill half of it as we're getting to our bowl that's going to have our recipe in it, well, we're not going to have the right amount in our spoon. And our recipe is not going to taste right. So we want to be cautious to do this slowly, not spill any, and get it from where it is to where it needs to be without spilling it. If you guys get this confused and you need to use a 
one tablespoon and you end up putting an eighth of a teaspoon in there, your recipe is going to taste a lot different. This is the difference between putting a little bit of hot pepper in there versus putting a lot in there and you won't be able to eat it. Okay, so really pay attention to what you're doing and pay attention to not making a mess whenever you're doing it. Okay, the next thing is that in some different recipes, tablespoon and teaspoon are written different ways. So we're going to work on that too. I know there's a lot of things going on here, but you'll have some time to work on it. Sometimes one tablespoon is written like this, one TBS. And sometimes a tablespoon is written like this, one tablespoon. And the whole thing is written out. So I've provided you index cards that have both writing methods on them. So that way you can practice identifying which writing it is and which spoon you're going to be using. Okay? I know that there's a lot to this recipe for, to this recipe activity, but it's important for whenever we move on and if you guys decide to get careers in working in a kitchen or you just want to make brownies at home, these are important skills to have. So please practice this skill and do it until it makes sense. Do it some different ways. And remember, if you really, if you start getting good at it, you can quiz yourself. You could put one tablespoon and an eighth of a teaspoon in the same thing because that's something that ha recipes have, okay? So think about how you can change it up too. Okay, guys, well, have fun with this lesson. Practice it, get good at it, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye.